Hello, YouTubers, and all those who happen to watch. Mm. All right. So, I was asked to try out a few of the games for my Atari 2600. This as well being is one of them being mentioned. People asked me to play it because they were really interested because of the box art cover. And again, the Atari cartridges had really awesome box art, but this is what the video is about. So, Yars Revenge, my good friend, you're going to have to wait. Alright, so people were wondering how I was doing for the Atari 2600. A few people asked, so again, this is what's what I have so far for the Little Beast. So far I have the, you guessed it, RCA cord which is slash a cable cord. I have this hooked out to the out. Now, I ordered a little switch, a little plug-in for this that you just uh, screw it in here and it uh, acts as like it's a um, video audio input for the, uh, well, for the system. So generally, once I get that part, I'll be able to hook up, move this aside, Sorry, just sliding around a little bit. Alright, basically I'll be able to hook up this, which is the uh, original Atari video audio input jack, into that switch, into this, and I'll be able to switch it to this one, and it will go out to my TV, then hopefully it will be able to play decently clear Atari games on this thing. That's the only issue that I was having with this console, was that it was missing, well, seeing I have a newer TV model, it was missing based generally the, uh, well, missing the connection, so that way it was not able to play clear video. All it showed was just snow. That was my major problem. So... Hopefully next time you see this beast, it will hopefully, when I do a test video, I'll be able to uh, pop that in, pop it on, and play this. Now, if you guys are wondering what this is, this is a video TV tuner. Um, to get an Atari to work, I'll show you guys the full video and what, how it does, it, how it uh, works basically. But generally, this will work uh, very well once you get it working. Now, this is a uh, Parasonic, not Parasonic, a, um, I hope I actually had a brain for once here. It's a, I don't even remember. <laughs> Basically, it's a video game, uh, a TV slash game uh, tuner. So, you're able to switch between cable and antenna so bonk bonk and it connects to there goes through there and you'll have some clear video oh Philips this is what it was it's a Philips device so you can get this for a decent price and it has little screws here so you know if you have any little areas around your closet or something like that you want to keep this out of the way visible you could, like, you know, try to put this over there and keep it out of sight. But for me, I'm not going to mess around my closet too much. I'm going to leave it alone. But, you know, that's a handy little switch. Uh, I saw this switch on eBay. So, you know, I was looking at one of those auctions that give, like, the entire kit bundle and they, like, charge some, like, $10 or whatever. But I just got this from a store. I think I paid, like, 3 bucks for this. I'm not sure. And uh, this I had laying around, so didn't cost me really anything that I remember. And uh, I ordered a little piece on eBay for this, so now I'll be able to hopefully play some Atari. Because if that's the uh, what the major problem was and it works, I'll be able to rock out some Atari and some Yars Revenge, one of my favorite Atari games right there. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll also show you guys how to set this all up as well and tell you what you'll need to get your Atari 2600 to work on newer TVs. 
Also, I'm going to try it through the, you know, piggybacking as well as the, uh, a solo TV. This one is, has the power in it right now. It's not tuned. I need to find the remote for it. Whatever the hell that is. But, be able to, you know, test it out in both TVs. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching, and, uh, you guys all rock.